Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So there's a lot of hope, hype and mysticism surrounding the Samsung and AMD partnership. So I thought in this video, we'd explore when will this partnership actually bear fruits? And secondly, even if it does bear fruits, will it actually save Samsung and Exynos? Let's get started. So first of all, this entire discussion began over a year back in 2019 seems so long ago, right? Anyway, Samsung and AMD signed a partnership where AMD would be bringing their RDNA 2 Radeon graphics over to Samsung Exynos processors. You see, a smartphone processor has the CPU and the GPU, and these are the most important components. The GPU is incredibly important, and if AMD could bring their graphics over to Samsung Exynos processors, it would take them to a whole new level. Unfortunately, we didn't hear anything about this for a whole year after that and in this year, we learned that there is a leaked GFX benchmark which says that the Samsung Exynos 1000 powered by AMD graphics is going to be three times faster than the Snapdragon 865 with the Adreno 650 GPU and even faster than the Apple A13 and as we'll see later in this video, the Apple A14 GPU. Unfortunately, we had Ice Universe chime in with a tweet who said that the Exynos 2100 will come with the Samsung Galaxy S21, which will come early next year in 2021, and it will have only Mali G78 GPU. The Exynos 9855 will come to the latter half of next year, and it will still have Mali G78 GPU, and the Exynos 9925 will have AMD Radeon graphics, but that will only come in 2022. So if you are waiting for AMD graphics, you'll have to wait till 2022. Thanks a lot, IC Universe. However, the second part of this question was, if we have AMD graphics, will it be enough to save Samsung Exynos? In 2020, Samsung Exynos is absolutely terrible. But in 2021, Samsung Exynos will have Mali G78 GPU. And just a few days back, we learned that the Mali G78 GPU with 24 cores on the Kirin 9000 has an Antutu GPU score of 287,000, which is absolutely awesome. If you compare that to the Apple A14 found on the iPhone 12 and the iPad Air, you need to know two things. First of all, iPad Air has a much better GPU than the iPhone 12. And second of all, the iPhone 12 GPU is not that much faster than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Anyway, the iPhone 12 GPU has an Antutu GPU score of only 201,000 and the Antutu GPU score of the iPad Air is only 261,000. We don't have the Antutu GPU score of the Exynos 2100, but we do have it for the Exynos 1080 and it has an Antutu GPU score of 300,000, which is absolutely awesome. So what's the long and short of it? If you want an AMD powered Samsung Exynos processor, then you'd have to wait till 2022. However, going by the Mali G78, 2021 itself will be a great year for you to upgrade your Samsung Exynos flagship. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.